What's going on everyone, Alex here and welcome back to the channel and if you're new to the channel, welcome. Subscribe and give this video a like as it does help the channel out. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different. I have a hot take about the Indiana Jones franchise, more specifically, Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. All right, so first I gotta state that I am a huge fan of the Indiana Jones franchise. Raiders is obviously one of my favorites of the four, but I'm about to cause some serious strife. I can already feel the, the keyboard warriors cracking their knuckles as they prepare to type in the comments, but Kingdom of Crystal Skull, it's actually not that bad. What? There, I said it. Woo. <laughs> oh man, it feels so good to get off my chest. I actually rewatched this movie the other day and I forgot so much about it. It's actually really beautifully shot and definitely has that Spielberg touch that we've, we've all come to love in his movies. The first glimpse of seeing Indy silhouetted against the army car as he picked up his hat, put it on, it just, it had me grinning like an idiot. I, I mean, I forgot how much fun that shot was. The motorcycle chase scene uh, was top notch and full of the humor that we've come to love from an, from an Indiana Jones adventure and just so many more great moments. The tone of the movie was an Indiana Jones adventure through and through. So why didn't this movie stick its landing with audiences? Why is this installment considered a steaming pile of gopher shit? I've seen on the internet and heard from other people that they hate some of the ridiculous moments in this movie. Indy surviving a nuclear blast in a lead-lined fridge, Mutt swinging in the trees with the monkeys, Mutt picking up Indy's hat like he's gonna put it on, and then Indy's like, uh-uh, no, not gonna happen. Overall, Mutt, the aliens, and I'm sure many more. I know what some of you are thinking, Alex, all those points you just stated are why this movie is ridiculous and why we dislike it overall, which is why I'm shocked that's the case. Indiana Jones has always been ridiculous with ridiculous moments. So this wasn't like new territory, yet many people acted like it was way out of character or for the franchise to be doing these things. I can't believe Indy survived a nuclear blast in a fridge completely unrealistic. He'd be dead. Raiders had ghosts coming out of the ark and melting faces. I hate how much swung in the trees with the monkeys. So cheesy and so stupid. Temple of Doom has a guy ripping out someone's beating heart with his bare hand. And the guy is still alive, screaming, being sent to his fiery death. Also, don't even get me started. They jump out of an airplane in an inflatable raft and just float all the way down to land on some snow. I mean, come on. I hate the aliens in Kingdom of Crystal Skull. Last Crusade has a knight that has been kept alive for 700 years to protect the Holy Grail and has people aging to death in mere seconds. You chose poorly. Indiana Jones has always had extremely fantastical elements to it. So when I first saw Kingdom of Crystal Skull, I like, I never thought it was out of place. But now let's talk about Mutt. I can see what they were wanting to do. They wanted to set it up to have Shia LaBeouf take over the franchise, which I get. If Shia LaBeouf didn't go off on the deep end, I honestly, I could have seen this happening. I've always liked Shia LaBeouf's acting. If they went that route, I probably would have been there opening day and I probably would have left the theater thinking the franchise was officially dead. I will say, I, I'm glad they didn't do that and that they don't plan on that in the future. Harrison Ford has, has stated no one no one else will be playing Indiana Jones. That is, that character will forever be his. He's taken that, he's taken that character with him to the grave. The only gripe I had with Kingdom when I first watched it all those years ago in the theater was definitely seeing the aliens. I, I didn't mind the giant crystal skeletons or, or all that, but if it were me doing it, I would have never shown the aliens. I truly believe it's always better to leave the imagination of the audience creating their own interpretations. With the fifth Indiana Jones movie coming out next year, I've started to see people get upset with some of the rumors that have come out about the movie. Then seeing all the comments regarding Kingdom of Crystal Skull start to resurface, it just made me wanna make this video. Every time I see those comments, I've, I've just always thought to myself, you have seen an Indiana Jones movie before, haven't you? Now I don't have to think that anymore, I can just say it. 
you have seen an Indiana Jones movie before, haven't you? As for me, I'm excited to see Harrison Ford's last adventure as our favorite archaeologist. It'll be interesting to see what James Mangold's touch will be compared to what Spielberg has always been able to do. Well guys, that does it for me on this video. I, I know it was a lot different compared to what I've always done on this channel, but I figured you were all lovers of cinema and storytelling, so we can talk about movies on this channel too. If you enjoyed it, subscribe if you aren't already, tap that notification bell so you can be notified when I upload a new video, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Till next time, shoot to create.